How to become an elite street self-defense expert. My fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle tips. What it is? It's the main man here, B-Rock, coming at you from them back alleys. Being a martial artist in the urban jungle is a unique experience. It's not just about throwing punches and kicks. It's a way of life that most people don't know nothing about. Today, I want to share with you how I integrate fitness, nutrition, and a balanced lifestyle to stay on top of my game. To make sure it's hard for anyone to kick my ass if they try, let's break it down. Fitness for martial artists, strength. Training, strength is the foundation of any good martial artist. Whether I'm in the gym or using the city as my gym, I make sure to build strength. Squats, deadlifts, bench presses and pull-ups are my go-to exercises. I aim for three sets of 8-12 reps, focusing on form and control. Remember, strength isn't just about lifting heavy, it's about being strong enough to handle whatever or whoever comes your way. Cardiovascular conditioning cardio is key to keeping up in a fight, outlasting your opponent and staying healthy. I mix it up with running through the park, cycling around the city and HIIT workouts. My routine usually looks like this. A 60 second light calisthenics to warm up and slight stretch my muscles, five minute warm up jog, 20 minutes of intense intervals, and a five minute cool down. Keeping my heart strong helps me last longer in both training and real life situations. Flexibility and mobility. Being flexible can be the difference between landing a kick and pulling a muscle. I spend at least 15 minutes each day on dynamic stretches before my workouts and static stretches afterward. Hip openers, shoulder stretches, and spine twists are essentials in my routine. Flexibility helps me move fluidly and prevents injuries. Martial arts specific drills. To stay sharp, I dedicate time to martial arts specific drills. Bag work, pad work, shadow boxing, and sparring are all part of my weekly routine. These drills not only improve my technique but also keep me mentally sharp for anything. I try to incorporate them at least three times a week, mixing them with my strength and cardio workouts. Nutrition for martial artists. Balanced diet what I eat fuels my performance. So, I focus on a balanced diet that includes lean proteins, whole grains, and plenty of fruits and vegetables. Proteins help me build and repair muscles, carbs give me energy, and fats keep my body functioning properly. I also make sure to get my vitamins and minerals from a variety of sources, and multivitamins can help fill in for what you might be lacking. Meal planning. Here's a peek at my typical day of eating. Breakfast, oatmeal with berries and a scoop of protein powder. Lunch, grilled chicken salad with mixed greens, avocado, and vinaigrette dressing. Dinner, baked salmon, quinoa, and steamed broccoli. Snacks, nuts, fruit, and Greek yogurt. Before training, I might have a banana and some toast with peanut butter for quick energy. After training, I go with a protein shake and some carbs to help with recovery. Hydration. Staying hydrated is always crucial, especially when I'm sweating it out at the gym or on the streets. I aim to drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water a day and keep a bottle of water with me at all times. If I need an extra boost, I'll add some electrolyte drinks to my routine. Supplements. Supplements can give me that extra edge, but I keep it simple. I use protein powder, BCAAs, omega-3s, fatty acids, and a good multivitamin. It's important to choose high-quality products and follow the recommended dosage. Supplements are just that. Supplements to an already strong diet. Lifestyle of a martial artist. Mental discipline. Martial arts is much about the mind as it is about the body. I practice meditation and mindfulness to stay focused and calm under pressure. Visualization techniques help me see my success before it happens. Setting goals and tracking my progress keeps me motivated and on the right path. Rest and recovery. Rest is just as important as training. I make sure to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep each night and maintain a consistent sleep schedule. For active recovery, I do light exercises, stretching, and my favorite is yoga. And sometimes, treat myself to a massage. Taking care of my body helps me come back stronger. Injury prevention and management. Injuries can set you back, so I take prevention seriously. Proper warm-ups and cool-downs are non-negotiable. If I do get injured, I don't hesitate to speak with a professional. Better safe than sorry. Balancing martial arts with your daily life. Living in the city means juggling multiple responsibilities. Training, work, family, and personal time. It's all about finding the right balance and making it work for you. I've learned to manage my time efficiently by prioritizing, by prioritizing what's important, what I can do the fastest, and staying organized. I use a planner to schedule my training sessions, work commitments, and personal time. Sometimes I combine activities like practicing 
or listening to training podcasts during my commute. My support system, friends, family, and training partners are crucial. They understand my passion and help me keep grounded and motivated. Balancing martial arts with daily life isn't always easy, but with discipline and a little creativity, it's definitely possible. Remember, it's not just about fitting martial arts into your life. It's about integrating it in a way that enhances every aspect of your being. So in conclusion, integrating fitness, nutrition, and a balanced lifestyle is essential for any martial artist, especially in the urban environment. These practices keep me strong, healthy, and ready for whatever comes my way. And I encourage you to start implementing these tips and share your experiences with the community. Let's continue to grow and thrive together. Stay strong, stay focused, and keep fighting the good fight. If you like this type of content and you want more, remember to subscribe. Also, if you want to support my work, which I would greatly appreciate it, you can tip or donate to my Cash App. Link is in the description. Until next time, I'll catch you later. This is B-Rock signing out. Peace.